Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. Today we're gonna to talk about probably the most popular adjustable dumbbells on the market right now, which are the Nuo Bells, which come in two different sizes, a 50 pound version and an 80 pound version. These are the big boys, the 80 pounders. Now, to my knowledge, you can't expand the 50 pounders to 80 if you buy them initially, and you can't expand the 80 anymore past that. So these are non-expandable like some of the other adjustable dumbbells that we've talked about on this channel. Now, these ones in particular are the red color. At least they tell me they're red. They look more like a blood orange or my original Adidas Addy Powers to me. But to you, they might look a completely different color because as you probably noticed, I'm not very good at color grading and your boy is colorblind. Thanks for making me feel bad about it. Uh, but there's other colors if you don't like this one. There's a black, there's a green, there's a white, which actually looks more gray to me. But let's be honest, we can't be too picky at this point in time because we will take what we can get, regardless of those match our color schemes in our gyms or not, because these things have been very hard to come by, which is all the more cooler that I got sent to these for free for review from Urban Fit, who is an authorized reseller of Nuo Bell. And by the time this video is releasing, they're actually opening up a pre-order. So if you wanna get in on these, please do so through their website and their link because they support me and you should support them. And a pre-order is a lot better than basically playing a lottery to get on a wait list even like some other companies are doing right now. So a lot of good potential things about adjustable dumbbells. Why might you want adjustable dumbbells and these in particular? Number one, far and away, the biggest selling point in my opinion is the lack of actual footprint that they take up. A lot of our home gyms aren't the size of mine. They're a lot smaller. They might not even be a gym. They might just be a bedroom. So an adjustable dumbbell gives you a very small footprint item that you can get really a complete workout out of, especially if you're looking at, in this case, the five to 80 pound version that I have right here, because up to 80 pounds per hand, you can still get a ton of work done from pressing to leg movements, to curl movements, to rowing movements. You can hit everything, get a complete full body workout, with just these things, which take up probably like uh, 20 inches by 20 inches or so. So very small footprint, yet very versatile in that regard. And I say that, especially as you look behind me, you can see that three tier dumbbell rack. That's actually a double dumbbell rack behind me, which takes up a ton of space. So for comparison sake, here is a five by 80 from the new bell and a five by 80 with your traditional dumbbells. Lots of space savings. Also a big selling point on that, is the actual price itself. So these things retail anywhere from $600 to $800, depending on the size that you're getting and the color that you're getting, as opposed to let's say a five to 75 pound hex dumbbell set. And I'm just gonna pick up rep fitness because I have a lot of rep fitness stuff as is. So for their hex dumbbells, a five to 75 pound set costs somewhere between 1500 to 1600. So about double the price. And as you've already seen, tremendously more footprint as well. So these things can really be great. But where I think these will really be good for you in terms of usability outside of what I've mentioned already is the adjustability for them. And I gotta be honest, I was in your situation previously. I was watching videos on these because I've heard a lot of people talk about them. I get a lot, asked a lot of questions about them even though I didn't own them at the time. And I've watched a lot of review videos that people have done and some things came up to me in terms of how these work that I kind of went, hmm, wonder how that actually works. And that's really with the adjustability. These are adjusted by the handles themselves by turning the handle. And I thought it was pretty gimmicky. Now I say that knowing full well that I've done stuff with spin lock systems, with other locking key systems, with pin systems like power blocks. And I thought these spinning handles, there's no way you're gonna get it. You're gonna either undershoot or overshoot what you're going for, which for me is really typical about how I address my RPE and training. Uh, but I thought, it's not really gonna work over time. I could just see very easily being hard to find the exact number that you're looking for. And I gotta be honest, it is super simple. And obviously it's all done in the handle, it has a marking right here, it shows you what weight it is. And I was really scared that I wasn't gonna be able to tell, you know, was I in that right number or not? Am I in, am I in, am I in? You get that nice solid click sound and it tells you, yeah, you're in all right. So. Really cool, and I actually really like it. It's very satisfying to get that click. Makes adjusting very easy. So that was one thing that kind of eased my mind right off the bat. The other thing is, is I see people when they're adjusting these and taking it in and out of the cradle, I was like, you know what? Based off of the design of these, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to make sure that they're lined up the right way every time you're taking these in and out. Because a lot of people are gonna use these for drop sets, right? So changing the weight, take them out, doing their set. That's like a, uh, an old school, original shake weight, pre-shake. But as you can tell right now, it's super simple for me to do this and I'm not running into any issues and I'm on camera, guys. The pressure is on and I haven't messed up yet. 
So very easy, number one, adjust. I just went from five all the way up to 80, just a couple turns of the wrist. And it's been very easy for me to get these in and out of the cradle. Now I will say, speaking of cradles, these come with just the cradles themselves. These do not come with a stand. However, I'm just using a plyo box right now. And for some people, a stand might not be necessary, especially if you don't really have a gym. You could literally just take these two cradles and put them under your bed, put them in the closet, put them wherever. If you have the space, you could get the stand. It looks nicer. That's gonna add somewhere between 150 to 200 bucks though. So overall, these things are very good for those regards. Very little footprint, very good price compared to a full set of dumbbells and super easy to adjust. And some of the finishes on here are really nice. Like I said, I really like this color. Uh, it pops pretty well. It doesn't really match my gym, but the off-white might have. Um, but it's solid metal in terms of the actual um, ends themselves. The handle feels really good. I will say in terms of the length of the handle, to me, feels kind of short. You have to figure in that they're building in those actual changing mechanisms in there. Some of us out there with smaller, softer hands, like Coop from Garage Gym Reviews, you might not have a problem with this. I'd like to see a little bit more size on that handle, but otherwise the girth is pretty good. The neural feels really good. I'll show you a close up picture of that. Very comparable to the handles on my urethane dumbbells behind me. Pretty solid overall. That being said, pretty solid. There are some things that I would like to see or I have concerns about as I'm sure you all do as well. So far and away, the biggest concern for me on these is the build quality because parts of these are built really well. Other parts makes me go, hmm, I wonder how that's gonna last. And that's namely the way that these plates connect, which is with plastic pieces in between these cast iron plates. Because again, obviously if I'm sitting here and I'm changing weights and I'm taking them, that was a little bit heavier than I thought it was gonna be, if I'm taking them in and I'm putting them back like this, there are gonna be times where you're gonna hit stuff and get dinged a little bit. That's not gonna be too much of a problem. The problem's gonna come if you potentially drop these. I have not yet dropped these. And the main reason by it being is, I'm kind of scared to, to be honest. I'm not sure how they're gonna last. And even on lighter weights, if you move these around, another shake weight reference here, get it by the microphone. You can kind of see, you can kind of hear that they're not completely solid in that regard. And I'm very concerned that if I drop these after doing a heavy pressing set or something like that, or just by accident, that either the mechanism to change the weights are gonna break or the mechanism that holds the plates together, the plastic is gonna break itself. Now I will say that there is a two year warranty on these that covers parts and things like that. I didn't really see the fine print in terms of if dropping is covered in that. I have a feeling that it's probably not like most things. But I think if you're aware of that going into this and you buy them and you don't drop them on purpose, obviously it's never going to be a problem. I've had these for two months, haven't dropped them yet. And they're still working fine, obviously. But if you're the type to drop your dumbbells, these might not be the ones for you in particular. Uh, another potential negative that I have with these is the actual expandability upon them. So five to 50 is great, five to 80 is great, but if you're training for powerlifting or you're just strong in general and you want 85 pounds, 90 pounds, 100 pounds, 120 pounds, you have no options with this. Whatever you buy into that system, whether it be the 50 pound version or the 80 pound version, that's what you're capped at, you can't expand past that. So these might not be for you if you're looking for something heavier. I think the Iron Masters in that regard are still the best because they go up to 165 pounds per dumbbell. So over twice what these do, all in one dumbbell. Um, but if you're looking to expand past that, these are not the dumbbells for you. The last negative I'm gonna talk about these are the price. And even though I said that was a pro already, it could potentially be a negative when you're comparing to similar adjustable dumbbells. So if you compare these to the full set behind me, yes, these are a price savings. If you compare them to other adjustable dumbbells out there, there's some trade-offs, one of which is the expandability I already mentioned, some of which might be the build quality as well, something to take into consideration overall. At the end of the day though, however, if you're looking for an adjustable dumbbell that feels like a dumbbell and feels solid in terms of the handle and doesn't feel like a weird block, these could potentially be a great fit for you, especially if you're looking for something that's, again, super easy to adjust. You like doing drop sets, things of that, that nature. Drop sets and not dropping between sets, I should say and clarify. I really think these are probably the best on the market. And they're kind of cool that you can actually get some color customization if you want to match your gym versus having all those weird colors from like the power blocks and whatnot. Um, you get some 
cool things to go with these. So again, big thanks to Urban Fit for providing me with these. As I mentioned at the time of this video, they should have their pre-order up and live. If you have any specific questions on how I've been using these, I'm hopeful to show you some clips during the time of this video. But leave any questions you have about these or anything else below. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.